Bonjour, nous sommes Mason Hill. Well, Mason Hill is a, a five piece from Scotland. Uh, we've been going for maybe about five, six, seven years um, now. Um, we're just kind of five guys that just kind of found ourselves uh, um, in the weird, kind of play, weird streets of Scotland. Um, we have one EP that came out about four odd five years ago, and we have been making our debut album um, for, for about five years now, and it's finally here, and it's been a long journey with many ups and downs. Um, but it seems to have straightened out and it, it's all looking good. With our backs against the wall So can you hear the call Get out, set me free You're dancing with the devil in me that, Could you tell the audience how everything started? Yeah, well, me and James Bird, the guitar player, we met at high school when we were about four, maybe 14, something like that. Um, and we, we had a bond straight away. We met in music class. He was a very gifted guitar player at that time. Um, me, myself, I wasn't. I was, I was just starting my, my kind of musical journey and didn't know I was a singer or anything like that. Um, and, you know, we, we tried, as, as we all do, in these high school bands that uh, we had a few that were absolutely awful. Um, but at the time, we thought they were good. Uh, and then, you know, we got to maybe 16, 17, uh, and we joined a battle of the bands, um, you know, as you do as a band. And it was a European one. Um, and we done very well. We surprised ourselves, surprised everyone, to be honest. Um, and we won Scotland like the heat, the area for Scotland, that gave us the opportunity to go to the grand final, um, which was in London. And that was, you know, the winners of Scotland, England, Spain, France, Germany, all, all these kind of places. Um, and we weren't the best. We were not the best at all. We, we, got, we really learned a lesson. Um, we came pro I think we came last place and we came up the road and we were like, right, we got a taste of what it's like to be a proper musician. We got to watch these people and realize where we, where we had to improve. And that was when we decided to scrap the bands we were in, form Mason Hill, and we started on the lookout. We found Craig first uh, on some online advertisement. It was a bit lucky, to be honest, in hindsight. Um, he was very good, loved death metal, was very fast on the drums. He was perfect. He's in. Um, Matthew was uh, in the bass, was next. He was, he was around the area. He was in other bands a couple of years older than us. He was just kind of known. Um, and eventually he found his way in um, through James, which was awesome. And up until that point, I was playing guitar and singing. I was like uh, one of those kind of front men, um, but not the best on guitar. So we decided to look for another guitar player and I would take off that. And that's when we found Mark, the, the rhythm guitar player, who is awesome. He's taken a lot of stress off me. And now I get to just be the singer that, that walks about and shouts stuff for a living. It's quite fun. Um, as a musician and uh, a singer, uh, so what is your influences? Yeah, I mean, my influences have changed uh, over the years. But um, it started where, you know, I, when I was a teenager growing up with music, it was more like... Um, your kind of rock and metal world that really caught me from people like Miles Kennedy and Alter Bridge um, all the way to Randy Blythe um, from Lamb of God. And I just, I, I, I'm quite a diverse range, but over the years, I'm, maybe maybe I've grown softer with my age. I, I've started to listen to kind of more softer music and, and trying to, trying to I learn more of, about melody in life and see what I can bring to that. I found myself sometimes even in pop worlds or, or just, just trying to bit like, it's kind of hard to tell. Recently, um, Bring Me The Horizon have been a massive influence on me um, because they, they, I feel like they're merging rock and pop in a very nice way that I think, I think could be good for the future of rock. Maybe, yeah. I maybe, but I think that's a good future. Uh, so, um, I'm happy to say that your upcoming album, uh, Against the Wall, would be out the 5th of March. How do you feel, guys, right now? 
we're bursting with excitement, you know, we're, we're a bit scared at the same time. It's a whole mix of emotions, you know. Um, we never imagined that the campaign would be an online campaign uh, and that we wouldn't be able to do any shows. So we've had that fear at, this, at one side, but, you know, at the same time, we've been waiting for this for so long that... It, that that feeling trumps everything else, and we're just we're just so excited to finally have the album out for people, have this stuff all over the internet for anyone to listen to, and also to kind of move on in a way because we have been writing this first album for so long that <laughs> we have ideas for album too. You know, we have we have we have stuff for the future, so it'll be nice to you know have that there and then begin to start to start to go into the the next chapter of the band. So uh, how are you going to promote this album? Um, are you uh, planning something for the summer or maybe? Uh, yeah, we have a lot of plans. We're, so we're, we're taking an almost like a YouTuber approach now and we're going to try and get to the point where we can just bring out not, not exactly daily content, but like quick content and um, lots of lots of, you know, original songs, some, uh, lots of covers collaborations with friends you know mm. we're going to we're even trying to look into the live streams as well to replicate one of our live shows as best as we can um and at the meantime we have all the physical live shows they're still booked they're just waiting to go we're waiting to be told so everything's ready to go we're just we're just kind of we're doing what we can you know yeah. and not sitting about doing nothing so this is uh... This is so frustrating <laughs> for everybody, for the audience, for the artists. It's a long wait, but you know what? We'll, we will wait it out and we'll be laughing about it one day, hopefully. I miss concerts, you know, I miss live music. I miss this life that we used to know. So how do you guys leave the situation? We, we, we're taking it as, as optimistically oh. as we can. Um, to, to be fair, like, We've been through so many weird, bad situations in the last five years that it, it's almost no surprise at this point, honestly. And so we're just kind of taking it as it comes and not slowing us down. At the end of the day, like, so either live shows come back and the, and the music industry booms or live shows don't come back in the online music industry, boom. So we're just kind of going with it in that mindset that no matter what happens, someone has to benefit. And why not us? So we're trying everything. <laughs> and we're, we're, <laughs> as long as our fans, are, they, if they hold out and they want to see us when we're back, that I would love that. That, that would make me happy. Against the wall. Could you tell me a little more about this title? This is our personal own wall um, ah. album. This is a, re it's a representation of, as I say, the last five years um, where we're at one point, you know, we felt like we were up against the wall by people that we couldn't see, not allowed to talk, not allowed to do anything. And, you know, dark time there, but in, but in time was the best medicine for that. And slowly we started to see, get out of that situation, start to see the good, start to see the other side. And when, when we made this album, we, we were like, right, we, we need to just make it about this experience in a met metaphorical way. Um, and I feel like Against the Wall, that, that, it, that showed there, and that song particularly is, you know, that's our kind of proper fight against, against anyone that would want to put you up against the wall. You know, it's, it's, um, life has its troubles, but you can win. And, and if you win, then sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes the struggle was worth it if you win. So I, I want to know a little more about the album, about the message behind. Yeah. So like the, the message is that we, so we, have, we had our own circumstances where we were in a bad time, but the, it's, like, it's like a good movie, you know? Like the overall message of this album is whatever your bad thing is, and everyone has it, it could be in life, it could be job, it could be career, it could be, it could be family, it could be anything. It's like, yes, we, everyone's going to have to suffer in life, but that's not it that's not that's not the end of it you know there's like there's two ways you can go you know we we could you could we're all victims but we could act like the victim and or we could you know shrug it off and we could move on with our life and try and make the best out of the cards that we're dealt with and i feel like that's that's the overall message of this album just don't give up 
because the only one that can help you is yourself. Are you going to work on a new music video? Yeah. Um, so yeah, we are bringing out some new music before, um, yeah. before the, the album. So there is that to be expected. And yeah, we're, we're also, we're looking into making some more music videos as well this year. Um, whether that's going to be with some songs in the album or even some new songs um, post album. I've not exactly made our mind up yet, but we, we don't know what's best yet. But no, there's definitely, it's like so much this year. It's just going to be the year of online content because right now that's all we can do. So as I say, we have some covers lined up. We, we have some more original kind of stuff lined up um, some collaborations with some of our kind of best friends in music, which we're honored to be a part of. There's, there's quite a few things that, that are coming out in the next few months. and I can't wait for people to see including the album <laughs> if if you have to choose someone who uh, to col to collaborate with uh, it changes from time to time you know uh, depending on my my mood but um on this particular day uh, it's hard to choose between the two of them it would, it would either have to be dave Grohl, foo fighters or ollie sykes of bring me the horizon that would be my That'd be my two. I would have a wee. That's my fanboy guys right now. Sorry, is it important for you to maintain this link with the audience? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, every band has amazingly dedicated fans, and and that's the whole point of music. But in our particular circumstance, we went through a period where we didn't release content for years. Like we we released no new songs for years, and we grew and grew through word of mouth. So if, if, band, if fans have ever been important to a band, it's our band, it's like, see, it's al almost overwhelming. We, we couldn't believe it and we don't take it for granted for one second. So uh, truly inspiring. So we need, to, we need to keep in touch with these people because they are, they're strong-willed. <laughs> they put up with a lot and they still told their friends to come watch us, you know, so we owe them everything. So yeah, yeah, this is a, this is a two-way kind of path for life between us and the, and the audience. And what about you? How much do you miss live music? <laughs> I miss live music insanely, insane, insane amounts. Um, you know, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember my place in life. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's people much worse off than me. I have no right to, you know what I mean? I will just, I will just keep my mouth shut and I'll be there for people and I, I'll wear my mask and I'll do what I can. And, and, you know, we'll get through this together. And when I have that and when, you know, the world says you can go sing again, I will sing and I'll keep singing and I'll be there for people that, that want that in their life. Um, but, you know, as much as it gets annoys me, um, I need to put perspective into things and it, it calms me down. So how um, many times do you guys practice to keep you <laughs> well, ready? <laughs> Before, before COVID, we, we were about once a week we would rehearse. The, I'm, I'm so fortunate. I, I'm in a band of very talented people. I really am. You know, as much as maybe the singer gets overlooked sometimes compared to other guys, I am honestly in a band of seriously talented people. Mm. Um, and that they, they don't need to practice more than once a week. They really don't. They, 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 they could do it with their eyes closed sleeping, to be honest. They're that good. Mm -hmm. Um so we got into that stage where we just played so much, but now we've not played together, and I can't since I can't remember when. Well, I will need, we'll need to film the first rehearsal when we get back because we're going to be atrocious, be <laughs> so bad. Yeah. So, yeah. and I went to your shop to take a look of the vi the vinyl. I saw that the red one is now sold out. Yeah. We yeah. Uh, we sold out a color i can't believe it like thanks to everyone that bought one of them it's it's so cool it's not something we thought we would have at the start it's like different colored vinyls but once we saw them we were like oh my god even i want one of them so I, I, we should do it we should just do it and see and if we're left with loads we'll just stick them on our walls basically and they'll be ornaments but no like i cannot believe like the, the album seems to be selling really well Everything's looking good for the future. You know, we're, we're still pushing it out there. And it's like a grassroots kind of movement in here, uh, like from Scotland and now, and now kind of going out further into Europe, which is insane, insane. We're just, we're just smiling. 
<laughs> about Brexit, how do you guys feel about this situation? Personally, we didn't we didn't vote for it, um, but it, it's one of these things. Like again, I feel like the bands has really helped us in, in our perspective and things, and we've been through so many hard times that again, it doesn't surprise us. And at the end of the day, someone's got to do it. Someone's got to go from Britain to France and play a show. Mm. So it's going to be us. Yeah. You know, it won't stop us. If it makes it harder, it makes it harder. But at the end of the day, it's not going to stop us. And if it stops other bands, then mm. do you know what? That just means there's more open venue nights for us. And we'll just yeah. come double as, as hard. And we'll just make the best out of, out of the bad situation that we can. Because that's all we can do, you know? Yeah. It's, I'm learning. I'm learning. I was moaning in the past, but now I'm learning to just accept it, look at the hand, make the best outcome. They won't stop. British bands will not stop coming over. I don't know how we'll do it yet, but we will do it. And as long as people are willing to come see us, we are there. Nothing will stop us. Your favorite social media? Oh, you God, you're asking me a difficult question here because I don't like any of them. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that a fair answer like i love the fact that we can connect with the world um i really do and and it's a great asset it really is um it's just i don't personally use it on a day-to-day -day basis i would say facebook has helped us and the bands out the most personally um because maybe it's more of our age kind of demographic um and and i certainly see the odd funny video on instagram it's a global warming as an artist, how do you feel about the situation? Well, I mean, we feel it's like everyone else, to be fair. We, all, we, will do, we do our part um, when we can. We've tried to cut down on packaging and stuff like that for the album um, to take, just to kind of do as, as much as we can. Well, I'm not, we're not preaching like, like green initiatives yet. We're not there yet. We're so small that we've tried to just meet the best that we can. We're not perfect. Um, in terms of a business, but we will get there hopefully as we grow a bit bigger. Um, we we will do all we can. I mean, like I, I myself, I'm vegetarian. I don't I don't eat meat or anything. Um, I just yeah, I, I, I do my part. I'm not the best in the world, but I'm definitely not the worst. <laughs> um, if anyone's ever listening to the songs of the album, I just want them to remember that we're just five guys from Glasgow, not from kind of privileged kind of upbringings that have just came together and slowly you know pieces have fell have fallen into place and it's starting to kind of be something and if if you want to be a part of that movement then listen to the album and hopefully you'll hear our journey